Hello, and welcome to another file from the Ofisu Dampare Vault uh, for Out of the Basement Warhammer 40k random stuff. Uh, this one is a uh, video response to 40k Theory's recent uh, video about who is Cypher. Uh, now, it's not that I'm uh, disagreeing with him. I, I do believe that Zephyr Hyriel be is the became Lord Cypher back in Horse Heresy, and I actually believe he's still the Cypher in the modern time, well, modern, <laughs> 41st uh, century, or millennium, I guess you will, uh, because in Angels of Caliban, they actually go through and have Zephyr being named uh, as Lord Cypher. They don't, don't say his name, they just introduce him, and it's him who becomes Lord Cypher. And then in, Angel, in the Unforgiven, the Dark Angels uh, sort of series, you get an idea that... Cypher is still doing a lot of stuff for that. So in in um, Angels of Caliban and some of the other ones for more Horus Heresy, uh, Zephyriel, although is a psyker who has met the Watchers, he seems to be falling under the influence of Chaos because Caliban itself is a world that is sort of holding, I guess a demon would be the best, or demon prince, or something like that inside of it. And the Watchers are there to help make sure it doesn't get released. Zephyriel, uh falls for it and thinks it's, it should be released. And this is you know, the way of the future for the Dark Angels. Uh, so he helps manipulate things to uh, with Luther and all that for, for killing some other loyalist Dark Angels. Yeah, sort of like, a, I guess, a Red Wedding, if you will. Um, so killing a bunch of the loyalists who come back from... Lenola Johnson to Caliban to ask for the new troops, and Zephyriel manipulates things so there those loyalists gets massacred, pushing Luther more and more towards his path of breaking out, uh, breaking against uh, Lionel. So in like again in in, in uh, Angels of Caliban, that's that's shown that uh, Zephyriel is going towards the chaos theme that he he thinks that's that's the future. He he's going for that. Uh, so that's where you can see. Now, um, in the warmer 40k universe, uh, in the Unforgiven, Cypher comes back and he's manipulating things in the background. He allows himself to be captured, as you, if you will. But he manipulates things to fight off Typhus, an invasion of Typhus at the Rock. Now, in the Horus Heresy, Lionel Johnson had some sort of weird techno, semi-intelligent teleportation wormhole creating device anyways it's not so fully explained uh, but this device sent semi-sentient mostly sentient but anyway it can manipulate time and space so it can go anywhere any when you need to this is how Lionel Johnson gets uh, to fire a fire or the the, the the inside Gilliman's uh, empire how he can get there so now that is still an existing thing that the Dark Angels have access, and they use it in this case to try and save Caliban. But what happens is Cypher, in the meantime, goes on this planet to try and stop the incursion, but he activates a device. And, and what's happening is there's a rift that appears while the 40k Dark Angels are fighting the Death Guard into the Caliban of the past, when Lionel's troops were coming back and fighting Luther's troops. And what ends up happening is the rift closes, but in the meantime, it does a backlash on Caliban of the past, and that's actually what tears apart Caliban. So Cypher manipulated the current Supreme Grandmaster of the Dark Angels into take him to a place where he activated the device to do the ritual which caused a rift which destroyed Caliban in the past. That's why I think it's still Zephyriel because he wanted what was inside the Caliban being held by the Watchers to be freed. So he had to go into the future to do it from the past. I, you know, these these time travel things always get weird when you start trying to calculate it. But that is why I believe Zephyriel is still the current cipher. Or if not the current 
the still not Zaharyl, at least someone who took over from who understood what needed to be done. An interesting little point or tidbit is at the end of Angel of the Caliban, Terminus X shows up with Ty Typhus, well, Captain Typhus. He's still a captain of the Darth, Darth Death Guard at this time, but he's starting to fall towards chaos. He pops over Caliban, and he's worried that, you know, there'll be loyalists there who will attack them. But he gets a hail from Luther saying, you know, well met, old friend, and that. Now, cut to the Unforgiven. The main, it's, it's Typhus again, who is there to go to Caliban to try and attack it. Or, well, sorry, not Caliban, the Rock to try and attack it. I know I've been saying Calvin the entire time. The Rock, you know what I mean. So he's again the catalyst or being used by Zephyriel to help do the ritual which destroys Caliban. Now, did was Typhus advised of this or what? I don't know. That'll have to come in the future. Was Luther aware of what was going on or did the breaking of Caliban is what actually snapped him out of it? Again, I guess we'll, we'll hear, read more about that. But uh, again, to the warmer, to, to 40k theories on uh, who is Cypher, I, I wholeheartedly agree. It, it's a Fahariel was the Cypher at the, it, during the Horus Heresy. And I think from what they've done with the Unforgiven or the Dark Angels series in Warhammer 40k, he is still the same one. He got the sword when Caliban got destroyed in the rock and all that. He was probably there when Lionel fell and since he knew the watches in the you know, the watches in the dark he probably was there somehow and picked up the sword now again I don't know if he's planning to kill Lionel with it or what or if he's seeking atonement but again in seeing the former 40k modern one he helped destroy Caliban from the rock in a past rip past future rip uh, so anyways Hey, thank you for uh, listening, and uh, again, hopefully, uh, one of our uh, 40k theories will respond to this. If if not, that's okay. Uh, we're small, but uh, that's my idea. Uh, comment, agree, disagree, have at. Thank you very much.